What's up, world? And welcome to another episode of The Unboxing. Unboxing in the. <laughs> and uh, as always, I got for you guys the hottest things on the market, showing you guys what I get so that way you can get it if you like it. Sharing is caring, right? So, with that being said, I got a wide variety of things. I'm going to mix it up today. Keep it short and simple, but sweet and fire. All right. So let's dive in. And I'm looking like a fly all the time, right? You know, the flies be on the wall. They be like this. Well, anyways, I'm just so grateful you guys tune into my unbronxing videos. With that being said, the mixture of two of my favorites is always sounding like a broken record, but I only collect what I like. Here we have the multiverse Superman. He got that uh that Viking Spartan warrior look because he has his cape, he has the shield, he has the axe. I mean, if you mix Superman with anything that has to do with Sparta, <laughs> I'm in. And uh, not that the man needs any weapons, but if his strength, you know, blow you and freeze you, pause. <laughs> And uh, his laser vision, x-ray vision, super hearing. I mean, this man can do it all. Now you're going to give him an axe and a shield. Here's a better look. Really dope. Of course, the man, McFarlane. So glad McFarlane got his hands into DC characters. But again, I'm finally going to Comic-Con. And I'm hoping I could get some words in with the man that just asked him, can you please give us some boxing figurines? Please. I'll collect them all. I promise. But here it is again. Superman multiverse. Superman. There it is. DC future state. All right. Got this from, this I got from Entertainment Earth. Okay. Now we have, um, <clears throat> let me give you a little hint. <sighs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. Uh, not Bane, if that's what y'all were thinking. Here is Darth Vader. This is from the Black Series, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's another view, Darth Vader. One of the most iconic characters, one of the most iconic phrases. Luke, I am your father. Star Wars, I want to rewatch the whole series again. From beginning to end, the first movie to now, they just have so much. I kind of felt out of love with Star Wars. Uh, but the Mandalorian brought me back in. It's so crazy because uh, this man here is such a powerful villain. And to find out who he was later on was just mind-blowing. But um, Darth Vader, uh, what, 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 what can you not say about this man? His, his, the force <laughs> was definitely strong with him. And uh, I'm so glad that I got this collectible. Here it is, different views of the man himself. Darth Vader with the red lightsaber. Uh, I think, well, my second would be Darth Maul because how cool he looked. But uh, Darth Vader was my uh, first favorite villain in uh, Star Wars. Um, his suits, I just think all their suits were designed really good. They didn't imitate or copy anybody else. You know, you got the little buttons there. Um, yeah, really glad I got this one. This I also got from Entertainment Earth. Star Wars. <clears throat> Darth Vader. Okay, where, 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 where am I missing? What am I missing? And since we're in that uh, genre... Give me one second. I think what he is doing is trying to see who 
Oh my God, Celsius, as always. Now, Celsius, before I, I know I'm, I'm jumping off uh, from topic to topic. Um, this was the first flavor I ever started with. This is the OG, the originator. Sparkling orange, tastes really good. Celsius, I, I just love you guys. Take one more sip. Mm, delicioso. Okay. Here is, of course, Star Wars Mandalorian Entertainment Earth exclusive, glow in the dark. So if you're ever afraid, you don't need a flashlight. Just take the Mandalorian with you, right? <laughs> Here it is, Mandalorian. He has his uh rifle because he he can catch you from far with that. Really nice. I love the color. Obviously, glow in the darks usually come like this but um definitely also hyped to have this these will remain in the box the superman the darth vader and the mandalorian will remain in its box now let's jump off of that into a gift that was given to me from a great friend of mine alex Alex, if you're watching, I really appreciate this. Thank you very much. No, they know that I'm a diehard Yankee fan. I was actually at the game where Aaron Judge hit his 60th and Giancarlo had to walk off. I lost my voice that night. But here is the Derek Jeter Hall of Fame Class 2020. Here is a picture. Hall of Fame replica. Plaque. Now, this one I will be opening. I know people know oh, it's going to be worth, you know, a lot of money. They're limited. But this is for my personal private collection. It was a gift. So with that being said, I will not be uh, looking at this with any intent of selling. Okay. Here is the base. Get out of here, styrofoam. This is number 1814 of 42,000 there it is limited edition you got the bank of america okay really nice really nice there's the plaque give you a little closer look here it says derek Sanderson Jeter, the captain. Okay, it's a little little difficult to read, but <clears throat> excuse me. Bear with me, I'm gonna try my best. The captain, New York AL, stands for American League. 1995 to 2014, heartbeat of a Yankee dynasty defined a two decade run of Bronx dominance that produced 17 postseason appearances, seven American League pennants, and five World Series championships, selected to 14 All-Star games and named 1996 American League Rookie of the Year. Winner of five Gold Glove Awards, appearing in all his 2,674 games in the field at shortstop totaled 200 or more hits in eight seasons, retiring six all-time with 3,465 scored, 1,923 runs with 100 or more in 13 seasons, and a record of 158 postseason games. Batted 308 with 111 runs, 200 hits, 32 doubles, and 20 homers. Earned 2000 World Series Most Valuable Player Award. There it is. Hope I didn't take too long reading to you guys. I tried my best to uh, use my uh, vision to <laughs> uh, read this. Okay. I'm gonna put this together real quick. Oh wow, I was actually uh, what a what a what a bubble head move right there. What a bubble head move right there. 
sitting here insulting myself because I'm actually tightening it when I should be loosening it. If I drop this man, I will find whatever window doesn't have anything in front of it and I will throw myself right through it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Trying to be as. The new boss is a perfect 10. As careful as possible. Uh uh, you're gonna stay straight. That's my daughter going crazy playing Roblox as always. That's her favorite game. Mine is, of course, Call of Duty. Definitely excited for the new Call of Duty. Okay. There it is. Nice and solid. Derek Jeter number two. Limited edition. Bank of America. Alex, once again, if you're watching, thank you very much. I appreciate this. I will definitely add this to my collection. And with that being said, we're talking about Derek Jeter and the Yankees, right? He was the box. Derek Jeter's signature swing. His hat, not necessarily tip, but, you know, higher tip. And his infamous Derek Jeter throw. Um, since we were on topic with the Yankees, here are some of the uh, most trending player collectible cards. With that being said, if you know what I'm talking about, number 99, All Rise, Aaron Judge. Okay, so we have a fire card, Aaron Judge. We have a 2017 first impressions card, Aaron Judge. This is actually numbered 11 out of 25. This, I will definitely, well, all of them, I will definitely be getting graded. This is another Yankee Aaron Judge card. This is California Love. This is not numbered. This is League Leaders Aaron Judge. Tops card. American League. This is the uh, All Star Game Aaron Judge rookie card. I definitely will be investing to get all of these graded. This is... <clears throat> this isn't the same card, is it? No. Okay. This is another American League leaders, Aaron <clears throat> Judge Outfield. Tops card. This is one of the Aaron Judge rookie cards. Okay. This is uh, one of the regular cards that I got. Aaron Judge Outfield. This is an absolute baseball Aaron Judge with the green letterings. <clears throat> Here is uh, <clears throat> Murad. This is a 19 and a series of 50 Aaron Judge. Okay. This is an Allen and Jinter Aaron Judge card, not numbered. This is a Topps Heritage Aaron Judge card. And last but not least, <clears throat> this is a Panini Aaron Judge card. Okay, now that we covered that, uh, is that it? I, I believe that's it. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Unboxing, Unboxing as in the Bronx. <laughs> and as always, thank you for the love and appreciation. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. I will make sure I keep on bringing what's hot and not what's not. And as always, knock them out the box.